Oh, we're live. <laughs> Sorry, just eating a, my favorite thing in the world. Goddamn bananas. Welcome back to Crypto Mischief. Richie here, where I talk about crypto <laughs> and bananas. Uh, today we're going to do a video on base chain because I'm getting quite addicted to finding out new projects. Things are popping off there. It's looking really bullish, to be honest. Um, I'm really enjoying the DeFi. I'm going to go through a couple things in this video. We're going to look at how to find new projects on Basechain. Of course, how to get on there. Then we're going to check out some of my favorite projects and we're going to look at some potential projects, which I might go into, but really I'm just showing you how to use these tools to, to find your own projects, get in early, these kind of things. So first stop, I guess we could come to Dapp Radar, right? This is a great site for just finding new projects when they're going. Okay, so I've, I've taken Base and I've gone newly listed and I've got all the categories here. Um, so you can see, because Base is a new chain, everything's basically newly listed, right? Which is kind of handy. And um, we're going to come down from the top, the ones which we uh, want to see which ones have the highest volume, probably, right? Trading volume on the token and on the exchange and these kind of things. This is all categories. You can see that number one is overnight and then aerodrome, right? I want to know basically DeFi high risk um, is where I'm looking because I'm looking for quick gains. So we can see again uh, in DeFi overnight is running it's on multiple chains. A lot of these are multiple chains. I don't really want that. I want stuff that's only specific to base chain really because if it's on multiple chains, it means it's not, you know, it's not really um, a new launch, is it? So therefore, we'll go to high risk and then we see we only have one, right? One high risk, <laughs> newly listed, right? Um, we turn off newly listed, we're going to get more high risk. Three, right? Carol, we're already in. Got a lot of videos on that. We're going to touch on that again today. Volume up 700% today. Token is pumping like mad, by the way. Uh, it's great to see uh, Carol here. Carol chart. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> coming out of that sell off and now coming, touching again. Will we retest all time high? That would be pretty sweet. Yes, it would. Um, anyway, we have Redemption Finance, Base 3D, Base Miner. So these are probably dead. The volume's down 91%. There's only 15 users, <laughs> average users, right? Redemption Finance, we're going to look at later. It's a farm. Um, looks like it is about to launch. Um, and other ones, right? Then we can also come to DeFi Llama and you want to see what kind of APYs we can get in these yield farms, right? Come here, click on base APY. Then you'll see the highest APYs and where to find them. Uh, yeah, here we go. Harvest, a community built platform for DeFi yield farming. Um, 62,000 followers. I'm going to guess this is on multiple chains then. Uh, we will follow them, then we'll check. Um, we're thrilled to announce. Yeah, and that's me now. Discovered a new project, which I'm going to have a look at, check out the TVL, probably look at the audits and see the security and decide if or if not, I'm going to invest my, my hard-earned cryptocurrency into that project. We'll check out Harvest Finance later on because it's not loading very fast. <laughs> Um, coming back to then more research, a couple more things that you can do. Uh, I would suggest um, getting back to Twitter, right? And just use this, right? Hashtag build on base, right? Who's using this? Every single person who's building on base is ending it with build on base, right? Um, because they try to promote new builders and new... TVL coming into the base chain, so everyone's using this build on base kind of thing. So here we have base DGENs. So, so then, okay, great. Base DGENs, they sound good. I like DGEN stuff. I like base. I follow them. And then we're going to find out more stuff, right? Trending uh, tokens. Um, base swap is trending. Alien uh, DEX is trending, right? Um, moving down. So then you can start looking at all these projects, which are listed by a high risk some, uh, site such as base DGENs, right? None of these, are, not all of these are going to work. Some of them, might, you might get rugged, right? So you need to use the proper kind of, uh, you know, protocol, burner wallet, uh, hiding everything, disconnect from sites when you're done using them, you know, the usual stuff um, for, for Basechain. To get onto Basechain, by the way, go to chainlist.org, type in base, then you'll find the RPC, link it to your MetaMask, and then use a bridge to move into it. I use um, the, the moment I'm using, uh, what's it called again? Some coin swap one. I'll link it in the description. All the Loads of bridges, loads of ways to get to base. Check another video for that. I've already talked about it many times. So that's what we do to get on base. That's how we find different tokens. We find new ones that are coming out. Um, other people will, of course, in, join in their telegrams also. Then they will also tell you about these kind of things. Um, so let's check out some new projects that I'm not actually in, but I want to talk about. Base swap, right. So base swap has two tokens. 
we use the tokens to farm with, right? Yeah, they have standard farms, which is V2 style liquidity. They have concentrate farms, which is when you need to find your range on the token to then get a, a tighter the range, the higher the APR you can get, right? The standard farm is kind of the old fashioned way of farming, to be honest. Um, we can trade on base swap. So if you're looking for a good place to swap tokens, why not base swap? Could be the one. There are many others though. Um, the game at the moment is to try and be the the swap on base, like Pancake Swap is the, the swap on Binance Smart Chain, right? Um, so far, no one has come out on top, and lots of people are using different kind of dexes for swapping. And um, base swap is looking pretty good um, because it's got pretty decent farming, right? So you'd either choose your liquidity, going with standard liquidity for V2 farming, concentrate liquidity for V3 farming, um, then get into the farm to earn their farmable reward tokens. So if we, for example, went to standard farms, you want to keep it simple, come to standard farms, then you can see all of the pairs, B swap token with ETH or BSX with ETH. And they're all, I'm guess, going to earn either BSX or B swap, whichever one is the, the token. We can then come to earn page where you can take your reward token and start earning others. So if you stake BSX here, you earn ETH. If you stake B swap here, you earn USDBC, which is a stable coin on base. Right, that's pretty much how we go. What do I want to do? I want to probably grab some of the token because the chart is looking pretty bad. <laughs> of course, launch to the moon, right? And then, oh no, this is B rate actually. We want to go to base swap. What's the token called again? To the moon, dump. <laughs> yeah. So all charts on base kind of look like this, apart from Carol. Um, from what I've seen. So they launch, everyone's excited back in August when all this launched off, kicked off, and then everyone kind of got bored and started selling the token because why not, right? DeFi. Um, so this is actually a pretty good time to get in because we're at the lowest lows. Um, the launch price, lower than the launch price, lower than the big dump and sell off. And now I'm guessing it's just going to kind of keep hitting lower lows for a while until they bring out some new kind of <laughs> exciting product, right, for it. But at the same time, while this is happening, we can start to um, accumulate the token because um, it can't go much lower, I don't think. Uh, market cap is uh, under 1 million, so small cap. So pretty interesting there. Quite good volume on it though. $40,000 of volume on it just today. So you could buy BSwap or ETH, or you could just take stable, current, stable coins and then you earn, oh, you earn both BSX and XBSX. You earn with the stable coin pool. All of them earn double tokens. That's quite interesting. Both tokens, by the way, have the same chart. Right? They're both doing pretty shit recently. So that's base swap. I will probably be taking some ETH and some USDC and go in this blue chip for 27% APR. That's good, right? Um, you're not going to find that on Pancake Swap. You're going to have to range and get concentrated range, and actually, it's going to be quite tricky. So that's pretty good. If we go to the concentrate farms, let's have a look what's going on there. Mm. Ooh, APR 30%, yeah. So range it or don't range it, you're going to get the same, roughly the same APR. Of course, this one has a, a TVL, an APR of 86%, which must be for some reason. I wonder how that works. Because you have to make your range to get the APR. If I change the range, it's going to change the APR. Um, I'll probably research this. If you want me to do a dedicated video on how to use base swap, let me know in the comments. Next. Looking great, Carol. Carol is fantastic, right? Carol is almost paying me now 2.5% daily before it was paying 2% daily. Why? Because liquidity has gone up from 100,000 to 150,000 in Carol token. The price of Carol token is staying nice and steady. I showed you the chart earlier. Look at that pump. Boom, right? From that uh, sell off there. I made the video about here. We pumped, then we sold off, and now we're back to where just above where I made the video. So I'm really happy with that. Um, so we're continuing now to get involved with Carol. Only 5,000 volume today in buys. Um, buy volume 2.9, sell volume 2.3. And the liquidity is just $152,000. Really great. Great pump of mementals because the liquidity is so low. There's only one way to buy Carol. You need to come to Carol, then stake Carol. No, not yet. We go to bond Carol. <clears throat> and then in Carol here, you can bond your ETH to get Carol token. That Carol token is then distributed to you daily, right, for 30 days. When you bond Carol, you also get 30% extra Carol token. And at the moment, I have a special deal with the guys at Carol. If you, you 
deposit a minimum of 0.1 ETH into Carol, then they'll give you a 2,000 Carol bond in addition to your 9,000 tokens that it's going to be fed out to you daily. Um, the cool thing about that um, is because it's free Carol token, right? And let's see, I'm really bullish on this. Of course, it's not financial advice for you to invest in Carol. You need to do your own research, read the docs, or watch my prior videos where I go really deep into the platform. Technically, right now, I'm, all I'm really doing is um, my 6-1 strategy. So we're now four days into it, meaning that I have, oh, we're in five days now because I now have, no, I have my initial bond. Yeah, four days in. So now this is one, two, three, four stakes. By the, Every time I get six stakes, I'm going to claim out one day, right? So then six stakes, claim one day. One stake a day, and then one claim a week, right, is the idea. Um, so for example, today I have another rebond ready for action. So I have 0 0.009 ETH, almost 0 0.001, which is over $10 I'm making. The amount of Carol I'm making is increasing every day because I'm compounding every day. And this is super cool, right? So let me just um, uh, rebond, right? So we take 800 Carol token. We rebond that token. We take 800 of them. Boom. We're going to get 1,040 paid back to us, right? Because 30% more. Yeah. It's vested for 30 days. So let's rebond this. But bada bing, bada boom. In we go. And when we rebond, it's going to show up in our select bond section. When you bond on this page, also that would show up in your select bond section. Um, so then we take our new bond that we just created. <clears throat> so we select our bond, then we pair it in liquidity with ETH, which is going to boost our earning even more, right? So there we have it. So we have 1,040 carol from that bond we just did. We then pair that with this equal value of ETH and stake it, right? This is going to add to the liquidity in the top uh, right. Higher liquidity, more people are bullish on the project, higher APR, we get paid out. So the game is we just want to try and build as much liquidity for this token. Then in the future, the plan for Carol token, they have a really great roadmap where they want to also get on board and be a competitor to places like uh, Base Swap and Aerodrome, right? Because they're going to start um, incentivizing liquidity of other tokens into Carol protocol, then rewarding people for doing that in unique ways is what they want to do. Um, but first step is, of course, getting deep liquidity with Carol token and also people owning Carol token in a kind of vested method, which is what's happening right now. So if they manage to pull off the utility for this token, then this is kind of like the pre-sale phase where we're being able to buy this at a better rate and then get it vested out to us. This is how I'm kind of seeing this is kind of the pre-sale for the big app that they're going to be releasing at the beginning of next year. So of course, I know, and you know, that in crypto, not everything goes to plan. So that's where the risk is, right? Could be that by the time we get to the beginning of the year, the product doesn't come out and then the, the interest in Carol token fades away. But if they continue to knock it out the park with their development, then this could be such an opportunity, right? Amazing opportunity. That's why I'm taking the risk of going for it by putting my money where my mouth is, by creating stake, got your stake, got your stake, got your stake, after stake. <laughs> so now I'm earning uh, up, my earning is now up to, wow, lots of Carol every day now. Do we have a, my earning per day? Doesn't tell me. That's too bad. That'd be a nice thing to add, how much Carol I'm earning every day. I guess I just manually added this all up. Uh, da, 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 almost 1,000 Carol a day I'm earning now. Um, fantastic stuff. So that's Carol. Next, um, we move to a new project, which is launching another DEX. There's so many DEXs coming in base, right? This is Lollipop DEX, a gasless compliant DEX offering the best swap rates of, for layer twos. Join the Discord, Lollipop. It's launching on Lido or Linea, I think it's called, and on base. So it'll be two different blockchains at the same time. Right now, uh, Lollipop is in its initial phase of testing, right? And it seems like if you are interested in getting into um, this and you use the test net, they're calling it an incentivized test net, which generally means there's going to be an airdrop, right? So I would suggest if you're interested in getting airdrops, possible airdrops, this could be one that you could start looking at um, using the test net. Um, they have an article here on how to get into, um, into the test net. Um, I can't be bothered. I'm just going to wait for it to launch, I guess, <laughs> because I'm, I'm a busy man. That's that one. Uh, let's move to more high risk. So this is base rate. 
Uh, not going too well. Um, it went under peg about a week ago. It recovered for one day, and that's still back down there. The TWAP is 0 0.75, so it's 25%, more than 25% under peg. And the token's value has just plummeted quite a lot. Now, you can still farm with this, which I'm doing. Um, so I'm on one wallet uh, in here with um, some rap teeth and B-rate, and I'm earning quite a good daily APR of 1% 1, 1 daily right in here. So you can still earn with it. Um, I have a couple wallets, but really, um, it's not as great as it was supposed to be, right? We're supposed to be making absolute bank here. And unfortunately, we're not making absolute bank. We're making pennies. Um, I've come to, oh, I'm in the wrong wallet. That's why. Disconnect, connect. Okay. Now they've, they've done something to try and fix this, um, which is, uh, they have a bond system, right? So the idea is that when the B rate token is under peg, you buy the bonds, then the bonds will uh, be able to be redeemed and you're going to get a little bit more on your bond price because of course the price has gone up and repegged and therefore you've won the game essentially. Um, so they're incentivizing the bonds more. Um, if you come to their Twitter, everything's disappearing on that. I don't know what's wrong with my internet today. Oh my God, what a disaster. Um, yeah. We have here B bond upgrade. So they're revolutionizing the tomb fork again because this time they're going to make a discount based on the T watt versus the peg. And there's a 70% premium threshold of 1.1 and above. So it means you're going to get even more payment if it re if it uh, repegs if you buy bonds. So it's really trying to incentivize people to buy these bonds now. I haven't bought any bonds, um, but I might consider it now. Uh, they have an AMA coming up, so I'm going to check that out as well. Uh, AMA coming 6 p.m. UTC today, right, when they're going to be talking about, I guess, the bonds and the upcoming changes that's going to contribute to the healthier ecosystem. So I like them. Great team. Trustworthy devs. Uh, really terrible start, which is kind of the thing, isn't it, <laughs> for uh, for DeFi? We, we've seen a lot of them recently. Um, failure, to, failure to pump on launch, right? So hopefully they can pull through and get back on peg, and then we can continue doing our farming and stuff, right? Because I do like Tomb Forks, and the pulse rate lasted like over a month, and we made great money on that, but this one is just uh, really struggling to get going. Yeah, as for example, right? So I've got $38 here from $600 of farming with this, and, and of course I've got the Ethan USD BC here, that's earned $12. So we're earning 40%, 300% APR, while the tokens are under peg, but the thing is that we should be way higher because we didn't even get a, a good like week of prints on this. Frustrating, I know. Next is Aerodrome. This is probably the most popular DEX on base right now, but I don't use it because I find it really clunky and slow. Um, it is a equalizer fork, I would say probably. It looks like it from this. You add in your liquidity and then you can vote for where people are going to put their uh, bribes to then... Uh, increase the APR of different pools, essentially. Um, this is a Solidity, I think, was the first one. So Solidly was the first one made by Andrew Cronier last year, and people have been forking it over all sorts of platforms. Some of them work out, some of them don't. The most famous one's probably Equalizer, which is also on base chain. If you want to check that out, you can too. Um, so that is Aerodrome and how it's running. So if you want to do it, you would take, for example, a Volatile Pool, which would give you higher APR. Um, then go in with <clears throat> not this 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 stablecoin DPEG, um, something good I guess uh, ETH ETH I guess ETH and die, and then you get four percent APR. Fantastic, not really. Um, so it's hard to try and find you know the ones which have. I guess you want the ones with the highest volume maybe would be the best way to find the best pools. Um, I'm guessing. Yeah, it would be this one but that's not the best, uh, 7%, not really that great yield, right? Active, I guess we'll go to what's running. 7%, 78%, 0%, 6%, 15%. So I don't know, I'm not too interested in it. Then you would take the arrow token and then you can lock it in here to earn more arrow token. Um, longer pays better, these kind of things. Uh, so this is Meridian. This is a brand new platform. It's a perpetual DEX on 
Base, uh, the guy who created this was on Telos Chain and he made Omni Dex, which had, I think, the charm token, was it? And that went from, I did like 100x. Um, so the play could be here that they have. Um, this is a pretty cool platform. Uh, you give ETH as collateral, then you borrow out their stable coin, then you can stake their stable coin to earn their reward token, then stake their reward token to earn Think ETH. Is that what's happening here? So we come to USDM, <clears throat> is their stable coin. The USDM, you supply Ethereum into it, and by supplying Ethereum, then you can, um, yeah, you can mint it. So, for example, I would uh, open a trove. Okay, that means I'm going to put in collateral of. I think the minimum would be like 0 0.2 because your collateral ratio has to be 150 percent. Um, so then, of course, I don't have that on this account. But if I did, then I borrow 180 USDM. Then with that USDM, I would put it in the stability pool and mine the MST token. There's only 2 million, 2.6 million tokens in here. Once they're done, they're done, right? Um, I'd mine that at 86% APR. So I'm uh, using ETH as collateral, which I can take out at any point by giving them back the stable coin. Put the stable coin here, earn 8% on it, turn the reward token. Then I would stake the MST token that I've got from the reward to then earn the share of the redemption fees, borrowing fees, platform fees in this, and I guess they're going to pay me back in ETH. So this is the game. While people are using the trade, um, you know, uh, using the perpetual dex to trade, I'm earning on people uh, using that by holding their their token. Nice idea. A little bit different to like GMX or uh, Life Perpetual Dex that we've talked about in this channel before. Um, so then we we'll also earn page where we can buy their LLP or MLP, it's called in this one, which then gives you a basket of cryptocurrencies, I'm guessing, um, which is okay. Then you can also take your MST tokens, stake this to then earn uh, ETH platform reward rewards as well. So lots of ways to earn on this. And I probably will be getting into this one first because I think it looks really bullish because of the general uh, statistics on the USDM, right? It's not that popular yet, which means it's an awesome opportunity. The price is 0 0.02. I checked this two days ago. It was already 0 0.01, I think. So it's already got done at 1x um, since we started looking at it, right? And this MST token eventually will be totally mined out of this. Uh, you know, this is like an early adopter bonus, I guess. So I think I'm going to get in this one because the dev is doxed. The dev has prior experience making a really great dap on Telos. Um, and this is a unique idea, very different to other ones that I've seen inside. And it looks medium risk, which I'm not in any medium risk on base chain. So this one I will be going into, link in the description for it, because I'm going to make a video on it. That's right. I'm not even being paid to make a video on this. But I'm going to do it because it looks good. Um, next, we have Redemption Finance, which is a goose fork, pancake fork, uh, just like all the others. Farm, pools, uh, whatever. Um, it's launching in two days and nine hours where you would be able to probably check your, uh, you know, check the audit first. <laughs> Not vouching for this. I don't know. You use their exchange to build liquidity, then go into their farms and stake what you want. Dai USD or ETH USD and get yourself 2 million APR. Yeah. Deposit fee of 4%, probably claim fee of 4%. Um, so that's this this could be fun, right? But I don't know. I found this on um the DAP radar, right? So it's sitting here. It's not got much TVL in it at the moment, but possibly it might later, right? Right now, the because it's not launched, of course, there's no emissions. Emissions start in two days and nine hours. Maybe expect more to start coming into this. Uh and the token is already launched. Yeah, there's fourteen thousand in this farm so far of cash, people waiting for it. The token is purchasable right now, and it's gone from $1 up to $100. Do not buy this, <laughs> right? Farm it, right? This is really volatile. You could lose your share at any point. People are buying this with speculation, right? Um, if we find out how many people are holding this token, let's go to token holders, then the story is going to be unveiled, right? What's going on? There are only 29 people holding this token, right? Oof, the market cap of this token is 51,000. So that means... There's someone holding a lot of this token that's going to dump on your face. Yeah, 25% by contract, 22% by this. And then this guy's got 88 tokens. 18% of the supply is his, 7% is his, 6%. So these guys are very much speculating on this. Uh, you know, They're going to sell the hype and then continue to farm with it probably. 
and interesting. Uh, I might buy some because <laughs> I'm a DJ, but you don't have to be. You can be smarter than me, right, about this. Uh, last one, I'm considering making a video on this as well. This is WildX. Um, looks like an interesting project. Uh, and again, the developer of this is known in my community by other people. It was suggested to me to talk about this. Uh, so this is essentially it's a yield farm, but you can only yield with their token. It is the WildX token. Um, so you take WildX or ETH with WildX and farm with it, right? And then you earn the token. Um, and that's pretty much it so far with this one, I think. I've been reading through the docs, but I, I ran out of time. So it's a token with a farm. Uh, we mint enough wild X inflates. Um, we have secret tokenomic strategies to keep wild X going for a long time. Secret token strategies. Ooh. <laughs> the treasurer will buy and sell wild X for various reasons, mainly to support prices. Um, wild X taxes burn the token. So it's a uh, emission token with deflation, essentially. Um, a game. It's a game, high risk, high return style game, already stealth launched um, uh, two weeks ago. Okay, so that's Wild X. How about we check out how the token's doing? We won't do that. How do we get this token? -da -da. You can see I'm not even connected to the site because uh, copy address. Okay, that's the address. Let's go to Dex Screener. Let's find out what's going on with this. No, nope. uh, maybe we'll just look for it then. Ma -ma -ma wild X. There we go. Uh, Twenty-two dollars. How we doing? Market cap two hundred thousand. Small cap, tiny cap again. Huge potential to find this kind of stuff. Okay, launch boom, and then yeah, it's in that kind of period of people not sure about it. Um, needs to onboard more users, which is why I might make a video on it. Rep. Um, launched thirteen days ago. All-time high of $40, sitting at 50% down from all-time high. And again, usual things. Just come in, check the Wild X holder, right? And let's just do the same kind of investigation here. So we have 260 holders, which is also nothing. Uh, the contract burn wallet holds a lot of it. Um, dead, this is a burn wallet. Uh, that means that the taxes are burning it into a dead wallet, right? So a huge amount of supply is the burn wallet, okay? Um, then contract has 1% and all the others are the holders. Highest holder of this token has 0.00091% of the token, which looks good. This is great because it means that no one person has a huge amount of supply, uh, but he does have quite a lot more than the average person, right? Because if we disregard this 97%, then these numbers become larger, right? So top holder has 47 tokens. Um, no, that's not much at all, actually. Interesting, okay. Um, but a lot of this will be in LP and farming inside of their system, right? Um, I'm, I'm assuming, right? So what would you do? You would come to swap. You would swap ETH for WildX token, then pair up WildX with something and get it into the... Oh, it zaps it in for you. Cool. So you just put ETH in and then get either WildX, ETH, wrapped ETH, or wrapped ETH with WildX. I'd probably farm with wrapped ETH and WildX um, and get yourself 5,000% APR. Boom, nice stuff. Uh, last one, why don't we check out, oh, uh, okay. Due to regularly uncertain, this is the one we're talking about, Harvest Finance with the crazy APR as we saw at the start. Uh, Har Harvest Finance is not available to people or companies who are residents of the US or restricted territory who are subject to other restrictions by interacting with Harvest Finance or smart contracts. Okay, yeah, 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 I, I understand. Okay, so this is Harvest Finance on four chains. Okay, so it's not my kind of bag. Um, the total TVL on base is, okay, APY, what we got? 1,000 API, B share and ETH, okay, but that's crazy, 10,000% API, TVL only 1,800, I have B share, I have ETH, I might go in that. <laughs> I'm not getting anything in the uh, base rate because it's under peg, so I might actually put it in here instead. It's got a good idea, nice, okay, if it's on four chains, that must mean that it's pretty trustworthy though, which is cool. Um, but I don't know what the TVL is. We don't know anything about that, right? So I guess we could find out on the DAP radar what the TVL of Harvest Finance is or on Yield thingy. Mm, it's not going to show me right now. I'm not going to look into that. I'll do it my own time. Researching, right? It takes time. It's not the most interesting to watch research, but that's it. So if I was to end this video on just the platforms, which I'm most bullish on on base right now, let's do top five most bullish base sites right now. How about we do that? Let's get into it. I'm actually going to move my head to the middle because I'm going to turn this 
into a short. Yeah, because I'm fashionable like that. I'm doing shorts now. You're doing shorts? Top five of... <laughs> Wait, fuck, I fucked it up. <laughs> Top five projects on base chain. This is October 14th. Let's go. Number one, we're going to have to go with Carol Finance because this is pumping like crazy. I love this project. Take a look at this booming chart. Looking good. Coming back. What a fight back, Carol Finance. Next one we're going to talk about is Meridian. This is a new, quite new, very new <laughs> platform on base chain. The game theory of Meridian is that you supply Ethereum to get their stable coin. You then supply their stable coin to mine the MST token. Then you would stake the MST token to then earn platform fees. This is a nice addition to the general perpetual dex idea. Quite unique, quite special, liking it. BaseSwap is gunning to be the top liquidity holder on base chain. Will it be able to do it? Or will the next one we're gonna talk about, Aerodrome, come out fighting? It's quite a boring site. I know there's not much to look at here. <laughs> the last one we're gonna mention for today is gonna to be a high risk, high roll pr protocol on base called Wild X, where you buy their token pair with ETH and earn yourself ridiculous 5,000% APR. Nice, that's what we like. So there we go, boom. <laughs> okay, glad you uh, put up with me for that. I've been Crypto Mischief. Hope you enjoyed today's catch up on base chain. Peace. Don't get wrecked.